in days to come that you are grateful for. What it will begin to do is to change your perspective of your day and your life. Maybe you're not understanding exactly what it's going to really take to get to that point in your life where you can accept the fact that, hey, this is it. You don't need to think of how to make a million. You need to think of this gift if you have that can make you $10, $10. People start doing it all over the world, rapid fire, in a very short amount of time. Why? Because it became real people had living proof that it was possible. Four minutes, what is that? It's an artificial stopping point, a self-created limit. It does not exist. Just like the reason you think you can't write the next best-selling book or the reason you go to a job you hate. Every day, because you've settled, you've limited your potential without even realizing it. Why would you cut yourself off there? I believe that if you can learn to focus on what you have, you will always see that the universe is abundant and you will have more. If you concentrate and focus in your life on what you don't have, you will never have enough. Be grateful. Keep a journal. You all are all over my journal tonight. I always understood that there really was no difference between me and the audience. At times, I might have had better shoes, but at the core, I got to put that work in. I got to apply myself. How bad do you want? That's all you ever talked about. It's all you ever dreamed about. All you did was wait around, hoping that someone was just going to hand you the keys to the city. No one is just going to hand you over their keys and expect you to drive. In fact, you don't even have a license to understand what it means to get what it is you really want. So if you're not in the mindset, if you're not prepared, if you're not willing, if you're not able, you can forget about it. You'll want becomes wasted of what really matters that we are the same do you know how i know that because all of us are seeking the same thing you're here at this fabulous school and you go out into the world and each pursue based upon what you believe your talents are what your skills are maybe your gifts are but you're seeking the same thing everybody wants to fulfill the highest truest expression of yourself as a human being that's what you're looking for you will never be able to see that victory that you want so bad so if you're going to do it do it right keep it tight keep it moving and conduct your business there comes a time in everyone's life that you're going to be facing certain challenges. You're trying to figure out what direction you need to go. You're trying to find out who you are, what you are, and what you're ultimately made of. And these things are going to happen on a day-to-day -day basis because when you start your day, you don't really know or understand what's coming. Yeah, sure, you may have a plan. You may know exactly what direction you want to go. But then comes this obstacle some type of thing that just got in your way and it completely throws you off. The highest, truest expression of yourself as a human being. And because I understand that, I understand that if you're working in a bakery and that's where you want to be, and that may be, the, that may be what you've always wanted to do is to bake pies for people or bake cakes for people or to offer your gift, then then that's, that's for you. And there's no difference between you and me, except that's, how, that's your platform, that's your show every day. So my understanding of that has allowed me to, you know, to, to, to reach everyone. And, and there's no way that you wouldn't, because that's, that's what I truly feel. I recently spoke to a man who was about to abandon his path of spiritual study because he couldn't seem to align himself with the laws of life. In essence, he couldn't make the law work for him. He had done all of the right things and he had said all of the right affirmations. He was praying and meditating and listening. Still, his life was a mess. There's so much more to attain, so much. More to achieve. So much waiting. Man, life is just too short to not make the most out of it, to get in the way of your own greatness. Why would you decide to wake up every day and not feel like it was the best gift possible? Not take advantage, why would you limit that for yourself? There will be times when you struggle, there will be tough days, there will be times of self-doubt. 
but let it all fall to the wayside. See past it. Your destiny lies far beyond any self-made wall. Take that with you. Let me ask you a question. How many of you have something that you could do that you could charge someone $10 for? I don't care if it's braiding hair, cutting grass. I don't care if it's making beads. I don't care if it's making clothes. All of you have something. You can tutor somebody for $10. You can babysit somebody for $10. Then guess what you do? Go do that. Then when you make the $10, I want you to do it 10 more times. You'll have $100. After you do that 10 times, I want you to do it 10 more times. Whatever you did to make $100, do it 10 more times. You'll have $1,000. After you make $1,000, here's what I want you to do. Whatever you did to make the $1,000. And the more and more you start to see that change is not pain, you're going to see transformation. Your life's going to experience a quantum leap because now, even though in your childhood, you were traumatized because of change. Your history is not your destiny. See, those of you who will evolve, who are willing to evolve, you will inherit the future. Those of you who are willing to take everything you do to the next level, you will inherit the future. It is the individual who is willing to become more. Change is inevitable. And you are either changing for the worse or changing for the better. You decide. Change is an invitation to the future. If I can change, I can have my future. There have been times in my life when I've been down. I've been out, I've been afraid, I've looked up at the road ahead and been completely. I'm sure and I can say firsthand when you're going through a situation like this, that it essentially consumes you. Right, it's all you see, it's all you think about to the point where the good stuff, the opportunity all around you, it becomes transparent. You see right through it. Listen to me, I want you to do it 10 more times. You will have $10,000. Now here's the hard part. When you make $10,000, here's what I want you to do. Take that $10 thing that you made $10,000 with, and I want you to do it 10 more times. Just multiply all of your efforts by 10. That 10,000 turns into $100,000. Now, after you make $100,000, you're gonna have to hire some people. They're gonna have some people working for you so you can keep doing it in multiples of 10. But after you make $100,000, I got news for you. I want you to listen to this real carefully. Here's what you have to do. This is the catch. Whatever you did to make $100,000, you have to do that 10 more times. Once you do that 10 more times, you now, congratulations. Another reason why people hate change is because not only do they see change as pain, but all they see change is as failure. And it's because every time you've made a change, you have failed. And you have to start identifying change with a new layer of belief. People tell me all the time, it's hard to get wealthy. It's hard to grind. It's hard to be focused. How do you even do these speeches? It's hard to stay motivated. It's hard to stay broke. It's hard to stay depressed. It's hard to stay governed by anxiety. It's hard to be inconsistent. It's hard not to have daily disciplines. It's hard not to believe in yourself. It's hard to be broke. It's hard to be poor. It's hard. It's all hard. So choose your heart. You either go work for it, you gonna sit there and let life knock you down and dare you to get back up. So I see the privilege. I see the moment. It's the negative, it's misfortune for a period of time that becomes your narrative, becomes the story. What if this is forever? What if I'm not as good as I want to be, as they are? What if things don't work out? Never mind the fact that you've been here before and you've battled back. Never mind how far you've come, no, that takes a back seat to the discomfort that we feel right now. And that's the irrationality of the human mind we forget. We forget that the lows create the highs that temporary isn't forever that you can't stand with any type of authority if you've never before fallen. Accomplishing anything is never just walking up and reaching a goal. Please do watch our other motivation videos on the screen now. Thank you.